Let's talk about the accounts payable cycle in QuickBooks. So here's the typical QuickBooks screen. And uh, so you can either enter the bills uh, on this screen over here, or we can go to the vendors page and enter bills that way as well. So when you enter a bill, it becomes a payable. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, enter a bill. And then we get this screen. Now the vendor could already be in the vendors list. If I click on this pull down, you can use one of the ones that you already have out there. Or let's say it, it's a new vendor that you're using for the first time within QuickBooks. Uh, for example, in Philadelphia, which is where I'm recording this video, we uh, our electric company is called Pico. So I'll type in Pico. And now that might have um, a reference number, maybe an invoice number. Notice how the vendor is not in my list. So at this time, I'll do a quick add. All right. Like I said, the reference number might be uh, the invoice number that they send to you. So let's say, just as an example, the amount due is $100. And if there's a due date for that, then I can pick a different due date. Otherwise, it makes it, um, you know, a certain date in there. Now, what's really important is that we want to uh, assign this to an account. So I'm going to go ahead and click on an account here. This is uh, from your GL. And in this case, this will be a utility. So when I click on the pull down, we see we have a utility as account, whichever would be appropriate. That's another one that if the account is not there that you want to use, you can just add it at that time. Now, um, it could be a split uh, account. So maybe 50 goes to one account, and maybe 50 goes towards another. So you, you could split that among multiple lines. And uh, over here, if this is going to be billable back to a customer, you can do that. And over here, you can decide whether it is going to be billable or not. This one's not billable back to a customer, so I'm going to leave that blank. I just wanted to show you that you could do that. So I'll pick on save and close. And that just made a new bill. Now, you heard that little beep there. Uh, some people like to hear the beeps. Some people don't. Uh, there's a way to turn those beeps off under your preferences. I kind of like to hear that because then I know that something happened. Now, once we enter the bill, it's now going to show up in your accounts payable. For example, if I pick on view balances over here, then I can see the accounts payable just went up by $100. And if I double click on that, then it'll show me all the details. And there, in fact, is the Pico bill for $100. Okay, so we're going to close this window. So let's enter another bill. I'll pick on enter bill. And let's say I uh, use uh, Verizon as my internet provider. And this has to be added to the vendors list as well. So I'll do a quick add. And let's say for the amount due, I'll type in uh, 125 there. And of course, you can put a due date. And this will also be for the utilities. You want to make sure you, you attach these to an account. So I'll pick on save and close. Now, if I want to do a new bill, I could do save and new, but I do save and close. Notice how that shows up in my payable. Now the payable is up to uh, $225. So when you enter a bill, it, it now becomes part of your accounts payable, as you can see. I'm gonna close that window. So let's say you're ready to pay that bill. So if you just follow the logic over here, it does say pay bills. And then you can pick and choose which ones you're going to pay. Now, what's going to happen is it's going to take these off the accounts payable and take the balance out of whatever uh, account that you have down here. So you'd want to set up a bank account from, from which that's going to be paid. All right, so let's say I'm going to pay both of those. I'll check on both of them. You can check as many as you wanted to. Notice how it... it it's going to make a check to be printed and then let's just pay one of them actually and see how it's going to take that out of my checking account and it'll take the proper amount away from the checking account as well so i'll pick on pay selected bills now it says do i want to print this check so i can print it or not you know that's up to you i'm going to go ahead and pick on the word done there all right so notice how the accounts payable balance went down to 100 
and my checking accounts, uh, my checking account balance went down as well. All right, so if I do the view balances, you can see the accounts payable went down. The uh, checking account also went down, All right? Uh, so we, you start off by doing a bill, and then when you pay the bills, that reduces your accounts payable, and it also reduces um, your bank account or whichever checking account that you're used to pay that bill. So that is kind of an introduction to the accounts payable cycle here in QuickBooks.